and welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be using my flexi hand this is from the flexi finger australia the website and the discount code is in the description box below um i'm using bling line this is my favorite gel system i love it i've got the cool one step gel we were this is i think this is yeah this is the only one we're using today plus a color um i really like the color the the cool one step gel is a self-leveling gel this is the color gel that i'm using this is called Rachel, and I think she's perfect for Halloween. Isn't that the most amazing steel grey colour? Or slate grey, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but I used that on this nail. So we're basically going to kind of do a bigger version of this nail. Um, I decided to use Petrol Party. I will tell you why in a second. Um, after doing this nail, though, I very quickly found out that this... Um, the glitter had been discontinued, so it's no longer on the website. But there are other ones there. <laughs> Um, Poppy from the Crystal Parade kindly sent me this pack of vintage crystals. Um, now this crystal would have been amazing as a spider's body, but I mean it's massive and I don't think I could have got away with using that as a spider's body. Um, but there are other crystals in here that I just want to quickly show you. Um, there's one here, this one is i love it there's two of these in here and i thought oh they could make quite good eyes and also these these ones aren't actually hollow they're not rings they are actually like i don't know if you can see but they are glass all the way through are they glass or crystal i don't know um, but this is the one that i wanted to use for the spider's body now this is going to be a big spider uh, might not be very practical to have on your nails but it looked amazing i was really pleased with the finished result um, I can't remember if she said it was Jet AB. I think it was Jet AB, that one. Um, and then this is from the Rainbow Statement Mix. I just picked the blue out because I thought the blue went quite nice with the uh, with the AB of the, the, uh, the body. So, yeah. So, we're going to be using those. I am going to use some more crystals at the end. But I will show you at the end what crystals I'm using so that we, yeah. Because just, yeah. When we come to crystals, I'll show you the crystals simples i'm also using some more glitter um which is available on nail sugar's website but i'll show you that when we use that as well <laughs> so i'm going in with the uh bling line rachel so the bling line gel products are available from the little nail shop um you can get 10 percent off using my code natlog 10 they only really ship to the UK and occasionally places like France, you know. But if you're in the US and want to try this, um, give the little nail shop um, a an email um, and they will point you into the right direction. Uh, if you're unsure, the little nail shop do have a support group. It's TLNS support group on Facebook. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't matter where you're from in the world. If you use Bling Line um you know pop on the group and there will be um well the little nail shop group is for products that are sold um only from the little nail shop but i mean if you use bling line they sell bling line so you know come in and join we'd love to see what you do with your with your bling line as well um so yeah so i've placed two coats of rachel on the nails and i've cured um, the little finger is going to be a full glitter nail. So what I'm doing is I'm applying a thin coat of the clear cool one step gel. And what I'm going to do is to make it a bit, I'm, I'm trying to be neat about this. I'm going to pick up some glitter and place it at the cuticle area so that the cuticle area is nice and neat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm cheat. Um, you could mix glitter with some clear gel on a palette and then scoop it up. I kind of prefer doing it this way. So you see I've got my nice neat cuticle area. I'm going to take the glitter from the pot and just sprinkle it onto that uncured gel. Ta-da! <laughs> and the job's done for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to cure that now and that's all going to stick in place. You could even go in with a second coat of glitter, but I think one was enough for me. I like a bit of sparkle, but I'm not greedy. Um, so now I'm going to encapsulate this nail. I like to apply a thin coat of gel. This is, I think they call this the slip layer. This is just going to help the next bead sort of flow nicely over the nail. So I've got my bigger bead. This is going to, we're going to use this to create like our apex. So the bulk of the bead is going at the cuticle end. And then I use my brush to move it backwards and forwards. And I've, I'm holding the nail down. So it kind of floats down. 
and then I like to just hold the nail upside down oh I added a bit more greedy um, I like to turn the nail upside down just so that I can get the gel it kind of in the right place before I pop it in the lamp you can get your client to turn their hand upside down it's not going to be you know it's not like you have to pull their finger off like I do my flexi hands sometimes <laughs> um, I'm using the black gel paint now the bling line black gel paint um, you can do this on I'm just gonna I'm painting on a what they called a cobweb a spider web um, you can do this after you have um, filed and buffed the nails uh, you can do it on top and then top coat I'm doing it before I top coat I'm gonna encapsulate this kind of wish I'd done it on top though well no actually no 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 I take that back um, I'm matte top coat in the nail as well so it kind of makes this ever so slightly dull um, but I kind of like that because it makes the spider legs stand out a little bit more um, I'll explain I'll explain as I go but you will kind of you will see um, so yeah so to do the spider web I just start from the sort of centerish of the nail if you if you don't want the spider in the center you can you know you can have it slightly up or you can have it slightly down um, but I wanted it sort of in the middle I am slightly above the middle um, but the spider's going to go at that top end of the nail. Um, and then I just like make these lines around the, around the center, sort of just connecting, you know, do you know what I mean? They're quite easy to do spider webs. I wish I'd not put that one there because it made it look a little bit too... I don't know. Anyway, once I'm happy, I'm going to pop that into the lamp to cure. There we go. That'll do. That'll do it. Not the best spider web I've ever done, but it's a spider web. Um, now we're going to encapsulate this one. So again, I'm going to do like I did on the pinky. Um, I'm going to put a clear layer on, not cure it. Then I'm going to take a bigger bead and place it at the cuticle. I take the nail off, the finger off. <laughs> it does look a bit like if you don't know i'm using a fake hand but you should do because if you watch the whole video you know at the beginning i say i'm using my flexi hand um yeah it looks a bit weird if you don't realize but there we go um so yeah encapsulate i've done them all um i only do i don't like to show me doing, doing them all because they're all it's you know once you've seen one it's kind of the same process um and i just feel like sometimes it adds a little bit of length onto the video that maybe doesn't need to be there um so i'm gonna wipe off the tacky layer now um i fold and buff them uh, just wipe off the dust the, the, the bling line gel is so easy to file it's like a, it's i since i've been using gel um i haven't i haven't used my e-file to file any of the nails i've literally just done it by hand and it takes it's just so quick so quick it's like butter so yeah so gel has a lot of advantages in my opinion um, so I'm using the bling line um, matte what's it called let me have a quick look matte top finish because I wanted this to be matte so once I've done this I'm going to pop it in the lamp now this does come out with a tacky layer so I will wipe off the tacky layer I really must get some of their mat in a pot i've got their wet finish that my lovely karen sent me i've got a little five mil bottle of wet finish and i just forget to use it um it's top coat in a in a in a pot <laughs> it's weird because i'm used to it in a bowl isn't that glitter nice but don't don't dribble over it too much because it's not available anymore <laughs> such a wally oh you can get 10 percent off your nail sugar um your nail sugar orders using my code natmug10 as well um and i don't know if i said but you can get 10 percent off at the little nail shop using my code natmug10 also um if i can give you discount codes i will because i think i'm all about saving you guys money and um, right for this bit um i'm using a curable gem glue so i've put a big blob of the glue on the nail this is to secure the now i don't know what this would be like i don't know how this would hold on in in real life because it's quite a big i mean it's a big stone and um what, what i've put it on and once i'm happy 
I'm just going to quickly flash cure it with my little torch because you can guarantee that by the time I get it in the lamp it's going to have moved I mean it was that big but look I mean you've got a lot of you'd have to put a lot of glue under there or a bead of acrylic if you work with acrylic um, to sort of stop anything catching on that nail um, but yeah I mean this is this is more for this is more for show I suppose just a fun Halloweeny nail um, you can definitely do a scaled down version easy peasy so um, I'm using the black gel paint again we're gonna create the spiders um, so th like the first thing we're gonna do is place two little eyes now don't forget this is a big spider so you can make these I made them a little bit bigger I just put I was like maybe I'll do them a smidge bigger a smidge there we go so he's got two little eyes then they have like little, I don't know what you call them. They're not pincers, are they? Are they pincers? I thought pincers were on hands. Like, don't crabs have pincers? These are like round their mouth. Like, you know, to crush the fly with. I don't know. Um, but we're going to put a couple of those on. Well, one on each side. Um, then I'm going to start doing the legs. I'm going to try and explain what I've done. Um, so obviously a spider has eight legs. Um, this leg was going to be the first leg, but actually I've done it too far back. So this is going to be the second leg, really. I do go out of shot a little bit. I do apologise. I'm very good at going out of shot. So when I to do the legs, the we're going to give the the legs going to be um, jointed, right? So this bit's going to come out, then we're going to go at an angle sort of towards that point of the stiletto tip of the nail and then we're going to curve it curl it around a little bit more but not curl it around because it's going to be a straight line but if you see when i do the joints of the legs where the joints touch i kind of want them to be thinner and then the center of the leg a little bit thicker um i, I don't know why i just think it looks a little bit better as opposed to just having like the lines all the same width i just think it makes it look a little like here right so the end is a little bit pointy and then i'm going to bring this back to a bit of a point when it reaches that other part of the leg can you see what i mean i hope you can and then oh god i need to put cuticle oil on my look at my state of my they're so dry oh, it's because the weather's turned cold it's not really it's just because i don't put cuticle oil on <laughs> um so yeah i can't see because my bloody recording box is in the way but i do like the two front legs first i like them to curl around each other so this one is just sort of like a bigger version of the front leg now obviously on the other side the spider's legs are going to come off the the nail so can you see there can you see what i've done um, and we are going to do some highlights on them, so don't worry if you think, oh, I can't really see them. They kind of, they kind of blend in too much. This is going to be the, the very last leg, and this is going to be the one that's going to be tucked up closest to the body. So the back legs are going to be longer than the front legs. And this one's going to kind of tuck round and almost get hidden behind the belly. And then every now and then, once I'm happy, I will just give this a cure in the lamp. More of a flash cure. And then I'm going to finish off this side with the fourth leg. So this one, again, it's going to come off the nail. So you're not really going to see. Yeah, I'm just going to let you watch this bit. So again, on the, on the left-hand side there, that you're not really going to see those legs. So pop it in the lamp for a full cure. Um, sorry, I went out of, I went out of shot a lot. Um, I'm just going to take any tacky layer um, off the legs because we're not going to top coat these or anything. Um, I'm going to use the bling line. This is the 3D white gel. This is like um, an embossing gel. But I'm just going to use this to create some highlights on the spider's um legs and eyes and stuff uh this is just going to be so that we can 
it's just gonna like when you look at the nail you're gonna you're gonna be able to differentiate more between the legs and the web um, even though you can see the web now is 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 more can you see it's dull a bit more dull now it's got that matte top coat on maybe dull is not quite the right word but that's the only word i can think of to describe it i'm so tired today i'm really struggling <laughs> it's actually it's only 10 o'clock in the morning it's 20 past 10 now so i'm gonna get this done and i think i'm just gonna have a lazy day <laughs> I seriously need it. Right, when you've done a little highlight on all of the all of the legs and stuff, don't make the lines thick. It's literally just a slither, just like a little highlight. Pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. He's looking good, right? Or she? No, it's a she. It's a she spider. I will tell you for why. Because I'm going to... Um, there was a big... If you turn the nail on the side, you're going to you're going to see the gem glue. Now, I thought these little black caviar beads looked like spider eggs. So, look, I've tucked a load of spider eggs up under that body. I mean, I suppose you could do it going all the way around, but I just put some each side. So cool. Uh, this is the deep space glitter that I'm using. This one is available on Nail Sugar's website. Um, we're going to sugar the nail with this. So just pop your top coat on, not on the skin. Um, and then before you cure it, grab your glitter tray and your chosen glitter. I thought this one was quite nice. It's a hollow, fine black glitter. I thought it was going to go perfectly with this set. Sprinkle it into that uncured gel. And then once you're happy, you want to make sure every part's covered because you don't want gappy gaps. Pop that in the lamp. Oh yeah, tap off the excess. And then pop it in the lamp to cure. Now when I sugar, I do slightly over cure just to make sure that the light has penetrated through the glitter. And right, so these are the, these are um, Preciosa. This is the Nightfall mixed size crystal mix. Um, I'm going to use these because these are, these are like dark like dark clear not clear they're not even clear i don't know they're like dark crystals and then in this pot is a selection of purple crystals that i got um when i first started buying crystals i thought i'll just shove all the purple ones in together i kind of wish i'd kept them separate now now i'm buying more i have well since i bought more i have actually separated them into separate pots so my purple ones are sort of separated as of now um, but these I've kept all together because I couldn't be bothered to separate them because actually I don't even know what, what crystal mixes are in there. Um, but I have put some gem glue on this section of the nail and I'm just going to fill it up with some crystals um, using some of the nightfall ones and the purple ones from that mix. Now in that purple one, there will be, <coughs> excuse me, there will be Swarovski and Preciosa crystals mixed in there. Um, again, I'm stupid because I'm not going to know which is which now. Um, yeah. So I'm going to let you watch this and then I'll get back to you. Mm, look at that sparkle oh i love them i love crystals oh, everyone needs crystals in their life right when you're done pop that in the lamp to cure um for 60 seconds and bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt it's, it's, it's the weirdest saying in the whole wide world and um, but this is the finished set and it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but it was so fun to do um i really really enjoyed it and i hope you did too if you did please leave me a like um if you don't like spiders please don't leave me a like just just scroll on <laughs> I'm going to show you a quick close-up of the spider nail. And thank you to Poppy for sending me the crystals to do this because I really enjoyed it. Um, if you do want to get 5% off at the Crystal Parades website, you can use my code NAT5. Look, you can see the eggs there, look. Ooh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have an amazing weekend. And I will see you beautiful lot on... Oh, pardon me. On Monday with a new video. Bye!